Hello and welcome to a Blacksplained Statistical History. This is a look at the New York Millennials development across the discipline era. We meet the New York Millennials in season one with their slogan, Youth Will Save Us. There is some power at the start of the lineup, but the rest looks lacking. And besides one strong pitcher, the rotation is not much better. The Millennials open the era weekly, finishing bottom of their division and 15th in the league. They get worse in season two, dropping down to 17th. They face an incineration as Felix Garbage replaces Scrap Murphy. Being in the bottom four, the Millennials are awarded the fourth strike for the next season and also win a blessing, randomising the lead stat for the five worst players on the team. This leads to a much better looking team heading into season three. And the changes catapult the team up to the top of the league coming second overall and first in their division. They make it all the way to the finals in the postseason, but lose to the Tigers. Another incineration sees Sandy Turner replace Chorby Sol, and Schneider Bendy has a yummy peanut reaction. In the election, the Tigers steal McLaughlin Scorpler, sending back Alyssa Harrell. But this has actually strengthened the team, and they make the most of it, coming first in their division and joint third in the league. In the postseason, they once again make the finals before being swept by the Tigers. Two feedback swaps send Alyssa Harrell to the Magic in exchange for Penelope Matthews and Richardson Games to the Shoe Thieves in exchange for Ren Hunter. As one of the top four teams this season, the Millennials will face targeted shame and in the election, the Flowers impair their vibes. But season four contains two other notable events for the Millennials. The first was Sandy Turner's discovery of the Three Blood Blagon Ball after they hit a single and then stole second, third and home in the same inning. The second event was during the postseason, when in a game against the Firefighters, Thomas Dracona hit a ground out to Edric Tosser. The game feed remained on this message for a long time, and when it resumed, the game had ended in a Millennials win. There is a net improvement in the lineup between the feedbacks and the alternate decree, but the rotation has taken a small hit. Another good season for the Millennials as they finish third in the league. However, in the postseason, they don't make it past round one, losing to the firefighters. During the season, their lineup is reverbed and in the election, they move into the new wild high division. The reverb has placed the weakest hitter at the end of the lineup but will that change their performance? Wild High has some tough opponents as the Millennials come fourth in the division, but still joint eighth overall. They see two feedbacks as Comrade Vaughan heads to the Jazz Hands in exchange for Valentine Games, who then moves to the Spies and sends back Andrew Solis. There is also a negative blood rain. In the election, the Millennials boost their power by 10%, and swap their weakest hitter for their strongest hitting pitcher. This was an excellent move, as Matthews is a far better pitcher and the lineup now has no hitter with less than three stars. Although they don't move up in their division, they do move up in the league to joint fourth, a position shared with five other teams. They qualify for the postseason, but are knocked out in round one by the Crabs. Dominic Marijuana has a positive blood rain but they also become unstable during the season, and this results in their incineration, as well as that of teammate Wesley Dudley. The team wins a blessing, making Sandy Turner spicy, but also face shame due to the Fridays. The incinerations have weakened the team, but Wesley Dudley's replacement, Nandy Fantastic, is notable for being the first born of the new field of eggs. Fortunes change this season. And despite now coming second in their division, the Millennials see themselves sitting at 10th in the league. They experience one positive blood rain and in the election swap leagues with the Wild Wings to be in mild high. A very small improvement to the lineup ahead of season nine. Mild high is not kind to the team as they finish bottom of their new division and at joint 15th overall. One of the players experiences repeating and another has an allergic peanut reaction. But struggles are rewarded in the form of party time, and the millennials get 12 of those. 
But the move out of Wild High brings one more blow, in the form of Old Division mates the crabs inflicting fifth base on them, alongside the flower's shame. Besides the third spot on the lineup, the team is looking stronger, and there is the added benefit of Fire Eater, Siphon, and Friend of Crows modifications for Andrew Solis, Theodore Cervantes, and Penelope Matthews. A slightly better season, the Millennials move up a spot in their division and come joint 11th overall, but they also head into the postseason as the wild card, where they get all the way to round two before being eliminated by the Shoe Thieves. Blood Rain does them no favours this season, but they do get another six party time boosts. The election brings gifts as they gain Birdseed and Thomas Dracaena gets an actual airplane, meaning they will score 0.2 runs for every stolen base next season. And as a result of the Shelled One's defeat, the team gains Alejandro Leaf. Leaf is the weakest member of the rotation and Birdseed, which sees birds unshell your players more often, may seem unneeded now that the shelled one is gone. Season 11 is rough, as the Millennials set their lowest win record to date, finishing 17th in the league. Both Black Hole and Sun 2 favour their opponents, but they do get another nine parties. In the election, they receive the lover as their arcana. Across the discipline era, the Millennials faced four incinerations, four feedbacks and one reverb. None of their players were shelled and they only gained a player from the pods. Yummy and allergic peanut reactions were equal with one each. The team got 27 party time boosts, but the negative blood rains outweigh the positive at five to three. They played in four post seasons and once as wild cards. In the elections, they won eight blessings, benefited from two, and were affected by five more. Finishing the era, the team has a strong rotation, and the lineup has plenty of power, but there are a couple of gaps. Thank you for joining me for another Black Explanation. I'll be back with more Blaseball Fun and Facts soon, but until then, rejoice, play ball.